Hey, it's Pizza Dude, man. I mean, I guess we'll start with Cardos' challenge here. Can we call him Kratos? No, that's the joke, is that his name is Cardos instead of Kratos. I still want to call him Kratos, because Kratos is a better name. Howdy, folks! How's the adventuring? We could have done with your help to navigate around that dodgy quiz earlier. Oh shucks. How about we go for a ride instead? Find some of them pretty gems. Yes. Sure Come on then. It looks warmer in there anyway. No, it doesn't. Great. Jump in the back and let's go. Yeah, yeah. If it's the page you're after, y'all gonna need to find a hundred gems before you reach the finish line. That's a lot. You need to find a hundred gems. To get the golden pagey. And if you think you can't, well, then you probably suck. I hate how they go so long without making new episodes of that show. Don't you? Uh, I'm kind of whatever on it. I love that show so much. I know you do. I love Steven Universe. I like it. But I'm not like a crazy fan about it. Like, I can never be like a crazy fan about something. Really? Like... You know what I mean. Yeah, I get that. Like, can't distinguish real life from fantasy kind of crazy. I just, I can't do that. Uh-huh. I'll get emotional over things, though. Oh, yeah, so will I. Totally. I, I cried so much, so much with Steven Universe. I also cry a lot with Undertale, and I cry a lot with a lot of things now, as I've gotten older. I think I'm I just as I'm getting older, I'm getting more emotional. Yeah. Which I don't have a problem with. It makes me more human and less of a freak. So. Uh, uh, I almost messed that up. Oh wait, I can shoot, can't I? I totally forgot I can shoot in this cart. Also, crying kind of makes. Damn, me it, I only got ninety. After a while. Shucks, you 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 did really really well, and it still wasn't good enough. Okay, so Is what's Elsa up? Is Elsa in that castle? It, uh, probably. Hmm. They'd referenced that castle back when we were in Travel Stat Truck is talking to the Baron, remember? Oh really? Yeah, they were like he was like, Oh, I'm the richest guy around and you and then Laylee was like, I don't know, there's someone with a cool castle in the second world. Hmm. Which which was a weird reference because I hadn't been to the second world yet. Just Laylee psychic. She's been everywhere. She is a bat. Bats are good at traveling places because they can fly. How do I shoot again? Uh, no! Uh, uh. There we go. Fuck! Uh, uh, uh. That was bullshit. That was also bullshit. You know what's bullshit? It's you know, a It's a window man. And you swing with me. You know, that was... God damn it! ...fun for a while, that, you know, it's bullshit show. It was, yeah. And then it and, went downhill very fast. <laughs> I think... I think James Rolfe just got tired of it after a while and just went all out. I don't... I think he tried to characterize it too much. Yeah. That's just my opinion there. I thought... When it was just him presenting ideas, I thought it was really funny. And then when he mm -hmm. turned it into a character... And then, you know... Yeah, it was funny when... I feel half and half about that, too, with, with Bored James in the same yeah. way. Yeah. But at least Bored James, like... You know, from the very beginning, was kind of a character. Yeah. But, like, the no... Because then bullshit. he just developed it more. It, he developed it in a very strange direction. Oh, but yeah. Kind but, of very left field, but... But it's, yeah, it still worked. Where, with the bullshit, man, I was kind of like, no, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it was, well, I think it's more fun when you think of it as, uh, um, just an average person like yourself, you know, Na an average, angry internet person. And that's, I think that's why, like, angry video game nerd works so well. Because, <laughs> Angry like, Video Game Nerd doesn't just work well. It kind of defined that culture back in it, the day. Yeah, definitely. It's a, it's a very well done balance of characterization. Of I'm gonna pass! I passed! Win! Oh my god! I did oh, it! Oh, sorry, you lost four <laughs> gems. I was so Whoops. worried about that, like I was gonna get hit at the end. I'm like, oh god! I did it. Oh, Woken. Oh, 
Uh, hey, guys, just so you know, if you do well in a video game, a nice woman will come and cuddle up to you once you pass. That's not true. <laughs> oh, well, you just did. You have to have a woman purse. Oh, then she'll be impressed with you. If she's impressed. Women kind of vary like that. They're complicated. Yeah. So are men. men. Men can be very complicated, too. Everyone's complicated. People are complicated. Tell me why you have to go. People suck. So complicated. Also... Some women will just hug you without your consent, and it's very weird. I've met women that do that. Me too. I think we're thinking about the same women. Probably. Because we have the same set of friends. Why is this? Why do we have the same set of friends? Why? I mean, like, isn't it weird that, like, we managed to make the same set of friends even though we never met each other in high school? Yeah, that was that was always, like, the thing with our relationship. Was that, like, we because we met by going to a bunch of, like, mutual friends' parties... But we were like, how did we not how did we never other? how did we never meet before this point? My guess is just more of I didn't have those set of friends my freshman year. Right, just the age like, gap between us. And then as time went on, I managed to make friends with them. Because we all were into the same stuff. We all liked video games, anime, not being jocks. Except I was still kind of my weird version of jock. Oh, yeah, well, you were a swimmer jock. I was a obscure um, sport jock. Obscure sport? You know, you know the kind of you know jock that never does the sports that are popular. Always the ones that there's maybe like two people on the team for, and the school's kind of considering turning it into a club and not a sport because there's so few people. <laughs> that kind of jock. Got it. You know, the one jock that plays rugby instead of football. Well, you didn't play rugby, though. No, I swam. And did track. Track was still kind of popular, though. Track was pretty much what all the cross-country kids did during non-cross-country season. Or during the off-season. Yeah, it was literally, they were all cross-country kids. Like, our distance team was beast. Man, having the high jump and the glide makes navigation so nice. Oh, yeah. Spring. Is that a new thing that's springy? Yeah, there's a power I got from Trouser in this world. Ooh. Oh, come on, man. There we go. Got sprung. <laughs> you get sprung! My anaconda don't. My anaconda don't. Rosie. That's <laughs> a chameleon, not an anaconda. Want none, cause I got no anaconda, son. So I, my <laughs> anaconda can't want anything if it doesn't exist. No, you got an anaconda. I don't got an anaconda. Well. But we can get a plastic one. Someday. I want to differentiate mine by calling it after a different snake. Uh, Mamba. No. But mambas are badass. They'll chase you down. Yeah, but my dick's not black. There's green mambas. <laughs> oh, so now I have a diseased green <laughs> penis. No, it's just a zombie <laughs> penis. Looks There's like you've difference. got a zombie penis. <laughs> Looks like you've got a Anyways, zombie penis. Anyways, we could just paint it green and call it the green mamba. <laughs> Except I think the green would wash off and get everywhere. Okay, so... <laughs> no, I'm trying to think what, what snake I'd actually want to name it after. <laughs> Let me think. See, Python sounds cool, but it sounds like it'd be overdone. Yeah. Um. <laughs> let me think. And you don't want no anaconda. No, an anaconda is the, the the normal one. So I mean, I need something different. <laughs> something different. How about how about the naga? <laughs> but that means it'd be like a little person on it. Yeah. That, that, no, I'm not putting that in my pussy. <laughs> how about the hog nose? Really? That's the one you want to go with, huh? Have you seen hognose snakes? They're beautiful! How about I go with a hoop snake? <laughs> well, if you can wrap it in a hoop. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be impressive. That would be painful. How about the rattlesnake? Sh does, shake it all around. Does it make a rattle noise? If, there's probably something wrong if it does. No, 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 no. You could just... Get like a little tiny tambourine and stick it on there. <laughs> it's like a cock ring, but it's a tambourine. Tambourine. <laughs> T 
<laughs> a cock ring. Oh my gosh, I have to make this. I'm gonna be a <laughs> pizza dude man guy is giving up his YouTube business to be a sex toy maker. <laughs> I need to help. I should help you with that. I want to make um, an offhand, like, R-rated Christmas special about elves that make sex toys. <laughs> oh my gosh. And, like, they could be the elves that are, like, the rejects from the toy making business. And so you get, like, a few of them just, like, standing outside, like, Santa's shed, just smoking. <laughs> like, hey, Frank. How's the real toy business going? It's great. Today we made a nice choo-choo trade. Fuck you. <laughs> and there's the dialogue. <laughs> hey, oh my god, look at that beautiful moon. Oh, you're getting moons. I want to eat it. The moon? <laughs> yes. It's made of cheese. I bet your stomach would die if you ate the moon cheese. Did you see how long my tongue went? Yes. That looked painful. Oh, guess what? We got the moon cheese cracker things. Oh, yeah, I forgot about those. Those, those are weird. I didn't like them. Me either. <laughs> and they How were expensive, about... too. Yeah, they were like 15 bucks for three bags. Oh, man. We should have just bought one. Yeah, we should have. That would have been smart. But you always want to buy, like, way more snacks than we possibly need for those it's events. It's because I have that weird, like thing that my mom has where it's like I feel like we're not gonna have enough food and someone's gonna go hungry and then, and then we have way bad. too much well because okay so now what we're talking about on most weekends Rosie and I play Dungeons and Dragons with a group of friends and that's this is the same group of friends that have the dogs that we were talking about a few mm -hmm. episodes ago and what happens is um I mean a lot of times the the hosts of our D&D group they're like we'll go out to dinner with them and they'll also provide some like you know, soda and stuff like that from their home uh, for us to, you know, to consume while we're playing. And are the other player that that drives us to the sessions, um, uh, he brings a bunch of snacks each time. And so we feel obligated to bring snacks too. I mean, yeah, right? We, can, we, we, we should, we should, con we should contribute we something. Um, <laughs> so, like... We'll get a snack, and Rosie always wants to get, like, a huge amount of snacks. Like, like she'll pick out a bag of something, and I'm like, okay, that's good. Like, this one bag of popcorn, this one bag of chips. And she's like, I no, I want to get two. No, <laughs> I want to get this giant thing, like, of a lot of bags. Let's no, get a watermelon I wanna get, as I wanna well. I want to get three bags of these smaller <laughs> things. And I go, and every time I go, Rosie, that, that's too much. We're not going to consume it all. And then she's like, but I just want to be safe. I'm like, whatever. And then lo and behold, it's too much. <laughs> and nobody wants it. But it's better than less. Except for the part where we lose money out on it for no reason. Well, I like, just feel okay, bad it, that we it, it, bring anything. But, 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 but it'd be one thing if we were eating it all, but we're not. It just goes to waste. Okay. What do I do then? We, we buy less. Okay. That's the solution. Well, what if it's not enough? Then, you know what? The other people have plenty of snacks. They'll be fine. Okay. I just, I always get worried that there's not enough food. I know. I always I know get you, worried you, about that. Rosie, it doesn't matter what situation you're in. You're always worried there's not enough food. That's why I bought, like, two bags of those raviolis. <laughs> not because they were on sale, but because I was afraid there wasn't going to be enough raviolis for us to eat. It was just two of us. <laughs> we only ate one bag. Yeah. There's still more raviolis in the freezer. I know. But we can eat them later. Yes, that is true. <laughs> no, actually, I don't know if you know anybody else with this issue, but, like, I get this from my mom, because, like, my mom, she grew up, you know, not having a lot. And so there was a lot oh, of, like, interesting. food and security and stuff revolving around that, and so she gets really nervous that, like... If she's serving food, or if there's food being served, that there's not going to be enough. Mm. And that someone's going to go hungry. And, like, coming from the experience of feeling hungry like that, and feeling like there's not enough food, she doesn't want other people to feel that way. And so, that feeling and that attitude kind of rubbed off, at least on me. Even though I never lived in a food insecure household. Like, there was always food all the time in my house but like 
you know, I would always worry about not having enough food for other people if we had, like, guests over or whatever. If that makes any sense. Yeah, I get it. It's, just, it's kind of like a weird, like, your parents' attitude just rubs off on you because you grow up in a... Where having enough food is a very important thing. I have to be careful because I don't have the metal power. Oh, gosh. Okay. And we will conclude this next episode.